Captain, we've arrived at Planet Flora. My trashometer says there's a lot of trash in that ring. On screen. Space wowzers! It's worse than I thought. Recycling officers, you know what to do. Aye, aye, Captain. And keep an eye out for litter bugs. So officers Molly, Gill, and Zuli hurried away to collect the trash and recycle it. Okay, prepare to collect and recycle. Ready. And I'm ready to sort it. Starting the recycling process. Plastic, cardboard, trash, plastic, Cardboard, trash, plastic, cardboard, trash, plastic, plastic, trash, plastic, plastic. It's coming trash, in too fast. Plastic. I can't slow it down. There's just too much of it. Ooh, ah, ooh, we need your help. Quick. We need to sort the recycling from the trash. If you see this symbol, it can be recycled. Which of these has the symbol on it? The soda can or the banana peel? The soda can. Right. Metal can be recycled. Which of these can be recycled? The newspaper or the glass jar? Both. They both have the symbol. You got it. Paper and glass can both be recycled. Thanks for your help. And plastic. We did it! Recycling process complete, Captain. Great. Any sign of the litter box? Nope. No sign, Captain. Okay. See you on the bridge. Come on, Bobo Puppy. Okay, litter bugs. All clear. Let's trash this place. <laughs> Lieutenant Gobi, please set a course for. Captain, my trashometer is suddenly showing a lot more trash. Huh? On screen. I don't see anything. It's not outside, Captain. The trash is inside the ship. <gasps> wow, this place is a real mess. Look at all the garbage. It must have been really windy here. <gasps> oh, no! Is that where your squirrel friend lives? Uh-huh. Squirrel? Squirrel? Look! All his acorns fell. Squirrel! Where are you? I don't see him anywhere. I'm sure he's okay, Nani. Oh my goodness, this place is a mess. Can we help clean up the park? Why, sure you can. That's a great idea. Let's clean up the park. Squirrel? Where are you? Well, I think we're done. Did we get everything? Let's take a look. If you see something that we need to pick up, say, pick it up. You're right. Here's some newspaper we missed. I'll get it. Hey, stay still. Come back here, newspaper. 
you're going into the recycling bin. Eek! Squirrel, you're okay. I was really worried. I picked up all your acorns for you. Hello, squirrel. <laughs> What's he doing? He's using the newspaper to rebuild his nest. He's recycling it. <laughs> <laughs> You guys did a great job cleaning up the park. You sure did, and don't think it went unnoticed. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the squirrels. He says, Nani, for your work in helping gather up our squirrel friend's acorns and for your contribution in cleaning up our park, it is my honor to present to you and the Bubble Guppies the Golden Acorn Award. Ooh. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. President. Recycling is when trash is turned into something new, so that it can be used again. That's right, Nani. So before you throw something away, check to see if it has these arrows on it. If it does, it can be recycled. Like this cardboard box can be recycled and turned into paper towels. Smart. Oh, wow. Wow. And this plastic bottle could become another bottle or even a fleece jacket. A fleece jacket? <laughs> <laughs> you can make so many new things when you recycle. Yep, and recycling is a great way to keep our planet clean. Do you recycle at home? Oh, that's great. Let's think more about recycling. You can recycle all sorts of things like plastic, Metal and... Paper! Correct! Almost all kinds of paper can be recycled. So, if you see these arrows on something, you can put it in a... Recycling bin. Uh-huh. Then it can be made into something new. But if you have trash that can't be recycled, you can put it in a... Trash can. That's right. You should always leave a place cleaner than you found it. Recycling is so cool. Let's sing about it. This is our earth, and we've got to keep it clean. So let me tell you what you can do to help keep our planet pristine. Look for those arrows. Just count them. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then sort the plastic, the paper and glass, and save them for recycling. Come on! We got to sort it out, don't throw it away. Sort it out, so another day real soon. It might come back to you. We got to sort it out, yeah, that's all it takes. Sort it out, it can help make something new. Paper makes a nifty box for juice And old milk jugs come back as shoes Plastic cup that old tasty snacks I get recycled into a backpack This old cardboard box can make another cardboard box And another cardboard box And another and another And another and another You gotta sort it out, don't throw it away Sort it out so another day real soon It might come back to you You gotta sort it out Do you 
hear a buzzing sound? Yeah, I wonder what it is. Spray your bug spray, Gilly! Uh-oh. Ah! Bubble Puppy, wouldn't want to fall over that waterfall. Yumi, look! The rubber tree! And our umbrellas! Quick, let's get these back to our umbrella stand. Yeah, before the howler monkeys come back. <laughs> well, so much for our umbrellas. Yeah, let's go home. Oh, hi there. Hi. What's the matter? Well, we came all the way here to the rainforest to sell umbrellas, but some howler monkeys took them. Those were your umbrellas? Oh, silly monkeys. Sorry, the howler monkeys worry about me because I'm always out here in the rainforest getting wet. You could have really used one of our umbrellas. Well, I can't use an umbrella because I can't hold it. I need both hands to do my drawings. What do the howler monkeys do when it rains? Oh, they just get under some big leaves to keep them dry. Leaves to keep them dry. Hey, Gilly, that gives me an idea. We can make you a hat out of these leaves. That would be great! And we can call it the Umbrella Hat! And so, Molly and Gil made umbrella hats for everyone in the rainforest. Umbrella hats! Get your umbrella hats! Made right here in the rainforest! Here you go! Thank you! <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> In the middle of a big rainforest where everything grows, it might be wet and hot, but we love our home far as the eye can see. It goes on and on, the jungle's full of light. And the amazing Amazon. What you got there, Nani? It's an acorn. A squirrel gave it to me. What are you gonna do with it? You should plant it so it can grow into a tree. That's right! An acorn is a seed. And if you plant it in the ground, it could grow into a tall oak tree. Yeah, then squirrels could live there. That's right! All kinds of animals like to live in trees. Like what? Let's think about some animals that live in trees. The small furry animal that lives in trees and likes to eat acorns is called a... Squirrel. That's right! Squirrels build their nests way up in the branches. And up in the branches, you might also find the nest of a... Bird! Right! A bird! And tree branches are also covered with leaves, which are good to eat if you happen to be a... Caterpillar! Right! All kinds of insects like to live in trees. I like trees. Me too. Please, Mr. Tree, please, tell me your name. What kind of tree are you? And please, Mr. Tree, please, what are you like? Do you change in the fall or do your leaves stay that shade of green? Do you know what I mean? Frogs and snakes and monkeys too would love to find a tree like you where they can have a comfy nest. Take a nap and get some rest Squirrels like to sit and eat Acorns, their favorite treat And bunnies hide and roots down low Keeping warm from winter snow Hey, 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 Mr. Tree Just what would we do If we didn't 
come with me to the Habitat Hotel. Good day, madam. May I help you? Yes, please. My friend the gorilla is really sleepy and needs to take a nap. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. Oh boy, he does look sleepy. I'll show you to your room. Here are two very nice rooms. My gorilla likes to sleep in a nest under green leafy trees in the forest. Which one of these rooms would my gorilla like to take a nap in? This one or that one? That one! Right. This room has leafy green trees just like a forest. Hmm. Have a nice nap. Thank you. Hello, sirs. May I help you? My Emperor Penguin needs a place to take a bath. Why, certainly. Follow me, please. And here we are. Here are two very nice rooms with water. I need your help. Which one of these rooms is called an icy? This one or that one? That one! Yeah. This room is icy cold. Just like Antarctica, where Emperor Penguins live. Enjoy your bath, Emperor. You're welcome. <laughs> Excuse me, what time is it? It's time for lunch. 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 It's lunch time. Hey, what's for lunch? What did you get for lunch, Goby? I got chicken strips. I got a cheeseburger. What did you get, Mommy? I got... Macarino and cheese? Macarino <laughs> <laughs> and cheese? That's silly. <laughs> Don't you see? We're gonna crash into the planet because you made so much trash. I don't want to crash. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Captain, we will be crashing very soon. All hands, start picking up trash. You hear that, little bugs? We have to clean up the ship. Uh, how do we know where it goes? Sometimes a symbol is all we have to go on. Let's do this! The crew and their litter bugs worked hard, but the ship was still zooming toward Planet Pristine. I still can't control it! Everyone, keep cleaning! We'll be able to control the ship when the trash levels are down to normal. We're at five, and normal is one. We need your help. Count down with me starting at five. Ready? Five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. one. The trashometer is now at one. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Control of the ship! Lieutenant Gobi, pull up! Now! Oh, no!
Mission accomplished. That was some landing. I just have one question. What are you going to do with all this trash? We're going to recycle it, of course. That means we're going to make new things out of it. Oh, wow. Really? Yep. We'll show you. Recycling complete, Captain. Ooh, what did you make? New bottles, more paper, a fleece jacket? Even better. Wow! A spaceship. Garbage Con, say hello to your very own spaceship. It's made entirely of recycled materials. You made that out of our trash? Yep. I'm sorry, what now? They're saying thank you. We all are. From now on, we're going to be the best recyclers in the galaxy. <laughs> the Amazon rainforest is the largest rainforest in the world, home to millions of animals, bugs, and... Trees. Trees, that's right. Some of those trees can grow up to 200 feet tall. There are thousands of different animals that live in those trees, like parrots, frogs, and... Monkeys. Yep, nine different types of monkeys live there. The rainforest is very hot. It's also very wet because there's lots and lots of... Rain. Yep, rain. You should bring your umbrella because it rains almost every day in the rainforest. The Amazon rainforest is really cool. Let's sing about it. Another rainy day, but we don't mind. Just learn to love the heat, leave your worries behind. Now look between the leaves, you won't believe what you find. The amazing Amazon. Tons of bugs and colors like you've never seen. All kinds of animals living up in the trees. They'll stretch up to the sky and make a giant canopy. The amazing Amazon. In the middle of a big rainforest where everything grows. It might be wet and hot, but we love our home. Far as the eye can see, it goes on and on. The jungle's full of life. In the middle of a big rainforest where everything grows, it might be wet and hot, but we love our home. Far as the eye can see, it goes on and on. The jungle's full of life. In the amazing Amazon. In the amazing, amazing Amazon. In the amazing, amazing Amazon. What are you drawing, Nani? My friend the squirrel's tree. <laughs> He's cute. Mr. Grouper, do the squirrel face again. Okay, I am a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Grouper, can I have another piece of paper, please? I want to draw something else. You know, if you turn your paper over, you can draw on the other side. Awesome. That way you save paper. And when you save paper, you save trees. Mr. Grouper, I already used both sides. Well, you want to keep it? Hmm, no thank you. Then you can recycle it. What's recycle mean? Recycling means turning something old into something new. That's right. When we recycle things, they can get used again instead of just being thrown away. Where does this go? Right here, in the recycling bin. See this? This means recycling. 
We should recycle paper so not as many trees need to get cut down. Paper comes from trees? It sure does. A lot of things we need come from trees. Like what? Let's think about what we get from trees. A lot of the fruit we eat grows on trees, like red, juicy... Apples! <laughs> yep, and other kinds of fruit grow on trees too, like... Bananas! <laughs> yep, and we also use trees to build things that are made out of... Wood! That's right. Wood comes from trees, and we use wood to make paper. And if we recycle paper, that helps save trees. Did somebody say recycle? Well, come on! Get up and dance! We're gonna separate the paper from the plastic! We're gonna separate the paper from the plastic! Look at all this beautiful snow. It'll be cold here in no time. Yo ho ho in a big blast of snow. Windy Pete the Pirate was covering the island of Zanzibar in ice and snow. Here, that's better. How cold is it now, Una? Let's see. The line on the thermometer is up high. It's still warm. Arr, then it's still too warm for me poor parrot, Polly. <coughs> oh, don't worry, Polly. We'll find a place that's cold enough for you. Let's go, Pirate Una. Aye, aye, Captain. So Wendy Pete left Zanzibar just before the Ocean Patrol arrived. I don't get it. Snow in Zanzibar? This can't be good for the people and animals that live here. Ocean Patrol! Thank goodness they're here! <laughs> what happened? Where did all this snow come from? A pirate ship! It sailed into the harbor and blasted us the snow! A pirate ship making snow? <gasps> that can only mean one thing. Windy, Windy Pete. Pete! Oh, no! Wait, who? He makes it snowy wherever he goes. Nobody knows why. <laughs> what is it, boy? <gasps> That's a red colobus monkey. Poor monkey. She looks really cold. It's way too cold for her. We have to do something, Captain. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. Welcome to Dima's BG Boutique. We have clothing for any kind of weather. We need your help to find the right clothes to warm up the monkey. Which set of clothing will make the monkey feel warm? This one, this one, or this one? That one! Right there! The one with the mitten! Right! This clothing will warm up the monkey. Thanks for your help. Oh, here you go. You little monkey. <laughs> And don't worry, it'll be warmer soon. Snow won't last for long in the tropics. Then come on, crew. 
Grab some more of those warm clothes and let's go stop Wendy Peak. <laughs> There's been a report of elephants trumpeting in a neighborhood in Ohio. Ohio? That's in the United States. There aren't wild elephants in the United States. <gasps> the Snuggler! She must have taken the elephants to Ohio. Let's go. I don't hear any elephants. Elephants, elephants, elephants. <laughs> Who wants to snuggle? Ah! It's coming from the backyard. Snuggler, you're under arrest for taking and trying to snuggle wild elephants. <laughs> but I only wanted to snuggle them. They're so cute. They are really cute. But you can't snuggle wild animals. And they don't belong here. You have to help us return these elephants back to the wild before someone gets hurt. Okay. Wait a minute. These aren't all Asian elephants. These elephants come from different places. I might have taken a few from Africa, too. Some of these elephants belong in Asia, and some belong in Africa. We need your help to tell them apart. Asian elephants are smaller than African elephants. Which one is the Asian elephant in this herd? One. Right. It has a small body. It's smaller than the other elephants. Elephants from Asia also have floppy ears that are smaller than African elephant ears. Which one is the Asian elephant in this herd? This one! That's right. This elephant has the small floppy ears. Thanks for your help. Let's get these elephants back where they belong. And so, the LFBI returned the Asian elephants to India and the African elephants back to Africa. The elephants are all back where they belong. <laughs> What's wrong? I just wish I had something I could snuggle with. What about this? <laughs> Good job, Agent. Ella, fantastic work. Where is he? He's back there, you guys. Look. <laughs> hey, Monty. It's me. <laughs> Come on, say hello. Don't be shy. These are my friends. <laughs> He's still lonely. Well, hi again, Gil, Molly. Hey, everyone. Hi. hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. I think I know who Monty can be friends with. You do? Who? A bird. That's a great idea, Gil. A bird. We saw a picture of a rhino with the bird on its back. We've got a lot of birds here at the zoo. We just have to find the right one for Monty. It's time to find a friend for Monty. From the rhinoceros enclosure right here at the zoo, here's your host, Zookeeper Joe! Thank you. Thank you, everyone, and welcome to the zoo. Okay, Monty, let's meet the contestants. Here they are! Our first bird lives where it's really cold and there's lots of ice and snow. Please say hello to a penguin. Now our next bird lives high up in the trees of the tropical forest. Let's meet a macaw. 
<laughs> Next up is a little fellow who likes to live in the warm grasslands. Please welcome the Tick Bird. One of these birds is going to make a great friend for you, Monty. Mm -hmm. But we're going to need your help. Which one of these birds lives in the same habitat as a rhinoceros? Is it the penguin, the parrot, or the tick bird? The tick bird! That's right! The tick bird! Monty, say hello to your new friend. Gil, thanks to you, I don't think Monty's going to be lonely anymore. And thank you for helping us find the right friend for Monty. Thank you for visiting us at the zoo today. We hope you'll come back and see us again very soon. My friend the bird needs a place to live. Come with us to find her a home. Hello. Hello. Is your bird friend looking for a home? She says, yes, please. I have just the place. This tree would make the perfect home for any bird. Let's take a look at what's available. Okay. I have space up at the top of the tree in the branches. Oh, and look. I even have some space down here near the roots, in case you'd like to hide. Do any of these appeal to you? Hmm. I don't know. No problem. Let's see what the computer says. Birds, birds. Ah, it says here that birdies like to make their homes high above the ground. Where in the tree do you think the birdie would like to live? The top of the tree and the branches, or at the bottom of the tree and the roots? The top! The top, up in the branches. She likes it. Thank you. My pleasure. Bye-bye, Birdie. Hello. This bunny is looking for a nice place to live. You've come to the right tree. There you go. Home sweet home. Does that look right to you? No. Let's check the computer. Okay, it says here that bunnies like to eat grass and they like to live in places they can hide. Where do you think the bunny would like to live? The top of the tree in the branches or at the bottom, down under the roots near the grass? The bottom. Yeah, down at the bottom near the roots is close to the grass and a really good place to hide. Right this way, sir. I think somebody likes his home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me. What time is it? It's time for lunch. 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 It's lunch time. Hey, what's for lunch? Hey, Gil. What did you get for lunch today? I got macaroni and cheese. What did you get, Una? I got macaroni and cheese, too. What about you, Nani? I got macaroni and... trees. <laughs> <laughs> macaroni and trees. The place where an animal lives is called its habitat. What are other animals' habitats, Mr. Grouper? Well, let's think about it. The large animal with white fur whose habitat is cold and snowy is called a... Polar bear! That's right. Polar bears live in the Arctic. And the big, strong animal whose habitat is a forest with lots of green, leafy trees is called a... 
Right, a gorilla! And the animal with horns at the end of his nose, whose habitat is warm and has a lot of tall grass, is called a... Rhinoceros. Just like Monty. And you can see every one of these animals at the zoo. are the largest lizards in the world. And they come from an island far away in Indonesia. So they're wild animals. You should never have taken her. Yeah, you're right. I need to bring her back. Will you help me find her? We're trying, but we've looked everywhere. Hmm. But we haven't looked here, the island in the lake. It's in the park. Oh, yeah, an island. Just like her home. Pet Finders! <laughs> Let's go find that lizard. And you're coming, too. So the Pet Finders hurried back to the park. Where do you think they're going? They, they found, found the dragon. dragon. Did you find the dragon yet? It's a lizard, and we could use your help. Okay, ready? Uh, I guess so. How's she going to get off that island? Easy. Komodo dragons can swim. Okay. Hello? Nice Komodo dragon lizard? I'm sorry I took you from that island. You're a wild animal. And I shouldn't keep you as a pet. I want to take you back home. Come and get it! Komodo dragons can smell with their tongues. Here, Komodo dragon. Kidding. It is the size of a picnic table. Shh. Uh. Nice, Komodo dragon. She swims. <laughs> uh. Great 
job, Pet Finders. You found the dr <clears throat> the lizard, and you made Bubbleville safe again. Hooray! Pet Finders! <laughs> and so, thanks to the Pet Finders, Traveling Gil took the Komodo dragon all the way back to where she belonged, on Komodo Island, far away in Indonesia. Welcome, welcome bees and drones to Her Majesty's Bubble Bee Athlon. <laughs> Today, Team Bubble Bee will face a most unbelievable challenge to make honey for Her Majesty, the Queen Bee. Yes, we would like honey in our tea. And to get the Queen Bee her honey, Team Bumblebee is going to have to pick up the nectar ball and bring it all the way back to the hive before tea time. But it's going to be some difficult flying today. Just look at all those obstacles. Obstacles are things that get in your way. And it looks like we're about to begin. On your marks. Get set. Go! And Team Bumblebee takes off. These first obstacles look quite difficult. Let's see if they can fly through them without getting knocked out of the race. Whoa! Look at them go! Surely good. We're seeing some incredible flying today. Uh-oh. Now they're going to have to get through those flowers. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There's the precious nectar ball. Gotcha! Brilliant! Gil has got the nectar ball, and Team Bumblebee is taking it back to the hive. <laughs> oh no! Daddy. An amazing interception by Una. Go, Una! And Una had better be careful, because I think it's about to get windy. He's got the nectar ball, but it looks like it's about to rain! Look out! Ugh. And there goes the nectar ball! A perfect catch by Molly! What tremendous teamwork! Go, Molly! And Molly's heading back to the hive! Only a few more seconds until tea time! Now she's got to get the nectar ball into the hive by throwing it through the honeycomb. I need your help. Which one of these is shaped like a honeycomb? The square, the triangle, or the hexagon? The hexagon! Right, the hexagon. He made it! The nectar ball is in the hive, and here comes the honey! Patrol! And friends, we're here to stop you. Yar! You'll never stop Windy Pete! <laughs> Bubble Puppy! Bubble Puppy! He's been turned into a popsicle. Is he okay? Your snowy days are over, Windy Pete. Never! Pirate Una, 
crank the snow cannon up to ten. Shiver their timbers. I said shiver their timbers. No, Captain. I'm not going to help you anymore. Una? It's time to stop your wintry ways, Windy Pete. Once and for all. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Please let me go. I'm sorry for freezing everything, but all this tropical heat is bad for me, poor parrot. Parrot? <laughs> um, that's not a parrot. It's a penguin. Huh? <laughs> well, I'll be a busted barnacle. Polly, you're a penguin. <laughs> and this type of penguin belongs where it's cold. Not in the tropics. Well then, prepare to set sail for the cold, snowy north. The Arctic. Actually, penguins like Polly don't live up north. They live in the south, in the Antarctic. Which is also very cold. The Antarctic. I like it. Should we go, Polly? <laughs> Windy Pete, Ocean, Ocean Patrol. And so, the Ocean Patrol led Windy Pete to the Antarctic, one of the coldest climates in the world. Would you look at that? Now this is cold. It's the perfect climate for a dare parrot. I, I mean, penguin, Polly. <laughs> More hot chocolate, anyone? Oh, yes, 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 please, Wendy, thank you. Let's paint a picture of the perfect spring day. Come on. Hello, glorious child. I am Mother Nature. What can I paint for you today? An icy winter morning or a hot summer afternoon, perhaps? Uh, I was looking for something... A little more... Springy? Well, yeah. How did you know? I have my ways, kitten. You want a painting that captures spring. Now stand back, child, and I'll do my thing. That should do it. A perfect spring day. Hmm. I think there's something wrong with this picture of spring. Really? Mm-hmm. It doesn't look like the perfect spring day. Let's help Mother Nature out. What doesn't belong in this picture of spring? The snowman! The snow! Right! Snow belongs in winter, not spring. Of course! Let's try that again. You wanted spring and I gave you snow. I'll make it right and here we go! Here you go, sweetie. A perfect spring day. Mother Nature, there's still something wrong with this spring picture. Really? Yep. Let's help Mother Nature out. What doesn't belong in this picture of spring? The leaves! Right. In spring, the leaves are green and they're on the tree, not on the ground. Oh, that's true. You wanted green leaves, and I gave you orange. Now let's try again, and I'll... Eh, nothing rhymes with orange. I think I've done it! This is the perfect spring day! That looks right. Except... May I? Sure, doll. tries, but I have to say, we have created the perfect spring day! We're tree people! We live in a tree. Once upon a time, there were three tree people. 
who lived way up in the branches of a bingo tree. Day after day, the tree people enjoyed bingo fruit for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm -hmm. Until one day, a fruit fly showed up. I like to eat fruit, and this bingo fruit looks delish. Someone wasted a bingo fruit! They're only taking one bite and then throwing it away. Excuse me, sir. Please don't waste the bingo fruit. Why not? There's plenty of it. He's not even eating the whole fruit. He's wasting it. But the fruit fly didn't care. We have to stop him. Come on. So the tree people hurried up the branches to stop the fruit fly. Look out for the thorns, you guys. We have to go under them. Under! Under! under. Your help. Tell us when to jump over the fruit and go under the thorns. Come on. Under. Under. Over. Under. Over. Over. He ate all the bingo fruit. No, he didn't. There's one left. Mm. Hey, mister, please don't waste the bingo fruit. Why not? There's plenty more. Mm -mm. You ate all of it. There are none left. None left? What do we do? They can't be all gone. <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> I have an idea, but you're going to have to help us. So the tree people and the fruit fly collected the seeds from all the bingo fruit and planted them in the ground. And those bingo fruit seeds grew into beautiful bingo fruit trees. Mm -hmm. uh, don't waste it, you guys. <laughs> And so everyone enjoyed their bingo fruit, and the fruit fly never wasted a single bite again. And they all lived happily ever after. You can ask your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Bubble Guppies YouTube channel for new videos every week. And watch full episodes on the Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. channel.